Hello, I'm Haley with Nye House Education Center. Today we're going to discuss letter recognition activities in the reading readiness initial schedule. So let's look at our reading routine. You might have something like this posted in your classroom. Yours also might look like this. Make sure you have it posted though so it keeps you and the students focused on what you're doing. If you look at our components here, you'll see that letter recognition is the first component of a reading readiness initial les lesson schedule. So it's going to take about 10 minutes and you're going to do it daily. Make sure you do it with fidelity. You're going to be using your red reading readiness manual and the first tab is for letter recognition. If you flip to this tab, you'll see all sorts of activities you can do with your students to help them build their letter recognition knowledge. Why is it important that we teach students letter recognition and they have this strong foundation? Well, letter names help facilitate the learning of the letter sounds. When students know the sequence of the letters, they are better able to name the letters. And also letter recognition allows students to see words as groups of letters. So for example, if they see the letter C-A-T, they don't see them as individual units or have to think about what the letter is. Rather, they're see, able to see it as a whole world, word and it gives them an advantage when they start to read. Instant letter recognition is really key to understanding sound symbol correspondence. When you're thinking about a letter recognition lesson plan, what kind of materials do you need? Well, it depends on the activity that you're doing. In your reading readiness manual, it will tell you all the um, materials that you might need for each activity. But some things you might need are your letter arcs, your letter mat mats. There's a yellow one and a blue one, depending on the activity. Your students will need letter tiles. Sometimes they need their own bag. Sometimes they can share with a partner. You might need your classroom alphabet strip. In your reading readiness manual, there are different masters of cards you might need. These cards are going to introduce the different letters of the alphabet. And then if you flip through a little bit more, you're going to have some examples of instant letter recognition charts that you might be using as well. Before you start to teach, you're going to need to prepare by looking through the manual and reading and really understanding what each activity is all about. You want to make sure that when you're giving it to students, you know the logistics of the activity, how to give the directions in a clear manner, what kind of academic language you're using. It's not good practice to be reading the activity for the first time when you're giving it to kids. That being said though, you can definitely have your manual, manual out and be using it while you're teaching your students. What are you doing during this part of the lesson? Well, you're leading your students in these activities. So for example, in the initial schedule, you're working primarily with block capital letters. The reason we do this is because there's less chance for reversal than there are with lowercase letters. You're not going to introduce lowercase letters until you get into the advanced schedule. So we're working with block letters in the initial schedule. And it just depends on what the activity is that you're doing. So for example, you have some activities that are done Orally. That might be something like seeing the alphabet with a different tune, um, and in that you're just leading the kids through the activity. Maybe you're making sure that everyone has their own letter mat and their tiles, and you're monitoring as they go through placing the letters on the arc. If it's a game where students are working in pairs, you can be monitoring that as well. That might be something like playing closer to Z. It really just depends on the activity, but make sure you use mastery check data and information from how you have done progress monitoring to choose appropriate activities for your students. If you have any questions about your letter recognition activities, you can always reference your manual.